all right shalom shalom first and foremost before i get started as always i want to give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bashim al shai wahawar chakodash with yahweh that's heavenly father's true name yahweh shai that's whom the world ignorantly calls jesus christ it's his true name and chakodash that is the holy spirit and i also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures Salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word and all truth and all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a lesson concerning how we need to speak about the prophecies, okay? And that should be our main focus, all right? And basically what inspired this lesson are two things. The first was a video that I saw from the uh, elder Ariel, all right? Or Salaki Ariala from... Uh, 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 GMS Dallas he uh, was basically talking about how we okay shouldn't focus on these you know, scoffers and scorners and that we don't have to respond to every you know statement or every video that they make okay and he made a point you know saying that you know these scoffers and scorners they purposely make particular statements so they could get a rise out of us and so that we can respond. And the reason why they want us to make a response is because their whole ministry is about us. And you see, if we don't, um, you know, answer them, they don't have anything. They don't know what to do because ultimately they don't have what? The spirit on them. Okay. You see? And um, that was, uh, 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 you know, one thing. And the other thing was um, a uh, order that actually came out from the uh, elder St. Benji from, uh, from out here in uh, GMS Chicago. He told us that there was a particular video that was made, and I'm not even sure what it was, nor do I really care, by one of these scoffers. And he said, look, no one's to make a response to, the, you know, that video. And he made a statement. I forgot what scripture he brought out. But pretty much, um, it's in the book of Proverbs. I'd have to look it up. I think it's in the ninth chapter. I can't remember where it was at exactly. But it goes under the, something under the lines of pretty much, if you like try to reprove or rebuke a, a scorner, it's going to be like a blot to your name. You know, you're going to, uh, you know, uh, it's going to look bad, okay, on your end. You know, because look, as it also says in the uh, the book of um, Proverbs, you know, whether it be in uh, uh, rage or laughter, you know, you basically can't rebuke a, a, a fool. I forget where that's at exactly. I know it's in the book of Proverbs. Okay? So, with that all being said, you know, our our, our focus is really to uh, edify, you know, and build up the elect. Okay? To, to preach, to teach. Okay? To uh, discuss prophecies. And that's commanded of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And let's start, start off with this scripture here in um, 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. And it reads here, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, okay? <laughs> Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You see, the Lord told us to speak all right to our people the words of prophecy that's what we should be doing we should be warning them hey the scriptures talk about it which lord's will we get in a little bit it says give them warning from me thus saith the lord that's in the book of ezekiel the third chapter which lord's will like i said we'll get there in a moment all right we have to warn you know um our people of the things to come whether they hear or whether they forbear okay you know hey we got to get that blood off of our hands hey you know, it's a beautiful thing hey if if one you know hears this word repents listens and gets on uh, 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 you know get, get gets on the right track you know that, that's a beautiful thing you know that's our, our main focus Okay, it's really the elect. All right? It's really the elect. 
Hey, but we we we, we gotta uh, you know, t- teach this word to everybody, cause now, you know, uh, our people don't have an excuse. They can't say, "Oh, we didn't know, we didn't hear the words of the Lord." No, you they the Lord's men were out there teaching. You just refuse to 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 humble down and listen. You know. So now the Lord has reasons to destroy a, a two third. Okay. All right. Let's get that. Let's get Ezekiel the third chapter. So start at the first verse, though. We're gonna get a couple verses from uh, the top, and then we're gonna hop down. Lock you. Yeah. yeah, a few verses from this uh, chapter here. Beautiful ch- uh, chapter, by the way. Start from the top, though. Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. Okay, and that roll represents the scriptures. Okay. And we're supposed to, you know, read the scriptures, eat it up, all right, spiritually speaking. Eat those scriptures up and then go teach. Okay, that's our job. Go teach. Okay. And and it says here in verse 3, And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as as honey for sweetness. And the reason why it's sweet as honey is because this gospel, which means good news, uplifts the Israelites. Okay? That's what it does. It pretty much tells us that, look, we're not going to be at the bottom forever. And eventually, you know, we're going to... um. You know, uh, 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 be you know, you know, uh, uh, exalted. You know, we're gonna be put in the rulership seat, and we're gonna be calling the shots in righteousness. Okay. It tells us also why we're in this condition, why the Lord put us down. Okay, gives us hope. It tells us, you know, about how we're gonna, you know, never sin anymore. How we're gonna be. Ruling over the heathens, how we're gonna get this earth back in order, so on and f- so forth. Hey, that, that that's the uh, uh, that that that's the sweet part of the scriptures, and our people need to hear these things. Okay, but also at the same time, because um, this particular uh, I'll say this real quick, this uh, particular um, you know, uh, uh, verse here only goes into the sweetness, but the scriptures in Revelation. Uh, uh, the book of Revelation talk about how this um this book is also bitter, okay? How this book is also bitter. It talks about the trials, the tribulations that we'll have to uh, deal with, okay? It talks about um the uh, the temptations. It talks about the, you know the the ugly part uh, of things, you know. It talks about our slavery. Oh, those things are bitter. You know, see, the Lord's all about balance, okay? All right. And hey, some of the uh, bitter things are these prophecies, so to speak. It's bittersweet. You know, it's like that oxymoron. But hey, but, but it makes sense. Because, hey, there, there's going to be a, a, a lot of destruction that occurs. And hey, some of our family <laughs> and friends of this world, so to speak, that they're going to get caught up in it and they're going to be destroyed. And that's a bitter thing, but it's sweet as well because this place has to be destroyed before any good can arise. That's, uh, you know, let's get that real quick and we'll jump back into this. That's in the book of 2nd Ezra. You know, 4th chapter. Start at the 26th verse. This is uh, 2 Ezra 4 and 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. 
for the world hasteneth fast to pass away. See, this world is, is, is passing away very fast, okay? You know? Eventually, we're going we're gonna to be in a time period where all hell's going to break loose, okay? And th this society as we know it is just going to be, you know, it's going to crumble. And eventually, Yahweh Shah is going to come back and just completely annihilate it. To set up what? The new kingdom. That righteous kingdom. Okay? Which this world will call what? The kingdom of heaven. Alright? And it says here, and cannot, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Okay? But as concerning the things where of thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. You see, this place, this evil present world, must be destroyed first. Before any good can you know arise, it has to be wiped out. Okay, uh, first and foremost. Okay, and that's gonna. Uh, with that being said, though, hey, there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, you know hardships. Okay, a lot of pain. A lot of agony It is what it is Okay It is what it is Let's get back into that Ezekiel So with that all being said You know we Gotta you know, uh, tell our people That these things are coming These are the prophecies That are about to happen You know the crash of the, uh, the dollar Crash of the economy Alright hey, the, 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 the riots the, the, the warfare, the cannibalism, you know, we have to warn our people that these things are going to occur, and, and we have to tell them to get their minds right, okay, get their spirits right, before before these things do happen, get right with Yahweh Hashem Shai, because if you don't, you're going to be wiped out, okay, let's get this, Ezekiel 3 and 4 now, and he said unto me, son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. Okay, see, that's what we got to do. Verse 5. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech or of a hard language, whose words thou cannot understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But, uh, this basically means if we were sent to these heathens, they would listen. They would take heed to what, what we we're saying. You know? But our people, since they're a bunch of uh, hard-headed, stiff-necked knuckleheads, a bunch of rebels, right? They refuse to, to listen. And this is why they, our people strive with us. Because the scriptures say what? That they strive with the priest in the book of uh, Hosea? Salakia. Plane flying by, but um, scriptures talk about uh how our people they strive with the priest. And the reason why they do that is because they're the they're, they're, they're rebellious, they're hard headed. They don't want to get right. They want to stay here so they can add sin to sin, basically, so they can please their flesh. Because th when you follow the heavenly Father. Now there's what? A standard. You have guidelines to follow. And you see our people, they don't want to they don't want to listen to that. They don't want to uh, 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 take heed to that. They want to do them. You know, they, they boy, our, our people say I want to do me, you know? And that's going to get them killed, especially in the times that are coming. All right? Especially in the times that are coming. All right. It's, it's, it's not going to be nice out here very soon. See, the reason why everything is, um, uh, you know, in order right now, 
it's intact is because uh, natural resources are still around. Bread and circuses is still being fed to the people. And once you get, take away the food, water, all right, the, uh, 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 the cigarettes, the medication, the drugs, hey, their, their, their iPhones, hey, their streaming platforms, they're going to lose their goddamn minds, man. People are going to lose their goddamn minds, and it's going to get real nasty out here. Okay? Let me keep reading. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and uh, 7 now. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. See, our people, they're a bunch of knuckleheads, man, as my dad likes to uh, call the, these damn fools out here. A bunch of knuckleheads, all right, and clowns, man. But see, the Lord said what? That he's going to make our, our, our um, heads harder than theirs. Because hey, there's going to be a clash between hey, the prophets and these people from time to time. Hey, but we're going to get that spiritual W. They're not going to win. Okay? Remember, hey, Yahweh Bashem Shai, his words are faithful and true. And that's all we speak is his words. So whatever is written, it's going to come to pass. And look, two-thirds of our people aren't going to get the W. They're going to get a fat L. All right? See, the righteous, they're going to get that big W. They're going to they're gonna be uh, 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 the victors in this... Um, in this match all right see we're destined to win they're destined to lose okay and it is what it is but there will be a clash and a fight okay but let's keep reading this is ezekiel 3 and 17 now son of man i have made thee a watchman unto the house of israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me see that's what we have to do as men of the Lord. That's our main job. Give them warning. Okay. From the Heavenly Father. We got to tell our people what's going to happen before it does. And this is why it's so important to focus on prophecy. Because I'll say this. You never know who's a part of the elect. And we got to ga gather, you know, uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know. See, I'll say this, if you got Yahweh Shai, he's the um he's the chief shepherd, right? He's the you know top dog, so to speak. Yeah, but there's also other shepherds out there. And those other shepherds are the prophets. Okay? They they're following the orders of the chief shepherd. And they're doing their job. And our job right now is to uh, gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel together. Okay? You know, let's keep reading. This is Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. And this is why we, you know, you know, uh, preach his word to everybody. Because we don't know who's going to hear or who's going to forbear. And if we don't uh, uh, teach this word and preach, now the blood is on our hands, and we're going to get punished greatly for that. Okay? Let's keep reading. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. You see? If you do your job, that's on them now. That's on them, not on you. Let's keep reading. Verse 20. Again, when a righteous man do a turn from his right righteousness and committed... Hold on. Did I read that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like it. Verse 20. Again, when a righteous man do a turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he had done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will be required at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live. 
because he is worn. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. You see? Look. Our job is to uh, 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 warn the people. Okay? And, and, and you know, you warn the people, teach them this word. And if you and that person that you talk continue in this word, you can save, both your souls can get saved. He talks about that in 1 Timothy. Okay? You know? This is why this is so important of us, you know, uh, 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 preaching and teaching. All right. This is why it's so important. This is why we got to focus on these prophecies more than these scoffers. Quit giving them your damn energy. Quit giving this world your energy. Okay. Remember, everything revolves around you. How about Shemuel Shai? What he what he uh, 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 says stands, and what he wants us to uh, you know to do stands. Because I'll say a lot a lot of times the reason why. Now of course I'll say this now I know a lot of brothers say of course no doubt about it hey they're defending the gospel when they you know you know uh, you know uh, uh, for lack of words get into it with these scoffers but I'll say this it gets to a point though where it get it, it's like look are you doing this to preach this word or are you are you doing this for yourself. You know, because it gets to a point where now you're becoming prideful. Because uh, uh um, let me get this real quick. I think it says uh, contention. Oh, here we go. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised wisdom. The main point is the first part. Only by pride cometh contention. Cause like I said, if you keep going back and forth with the scoffer, now it's just like, look, man, now you're just being prideful. And this is why there's so much contention. Like I said, of course, you do got to defend the gospel. You do have to, you know, at times do make a response. But it gets to a point where it's like the hell with them. Hey, let let they, they, they let them, you know, uh, believe you know what they believe in, and don't give them your energy. Okay. You just got to continue to do uh, what the Lord commanded you to do. Don't focus on them. They're a bunch of nobodies anyway. They have no life in them. All right. But uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to get into that, you know, lesson. Uh, you know, hopefully it was edifying one. All right. Oh, you know what? I didn't get to finish this. Let me just finish this in Ezekiel. I wanted to get that last verse. Maybe last two verses. Okay. We'll just finish it off. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter uh, 3. And um, I'll get 26 and 27. And I will make thy, Ezekiel 3 and 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb. It shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So it gets to a point, all right, where you just got to uh, stop talking to these, to these people, man. And the Lord's going to force us. At some point to completely just stop. It's just going to end, man. You know? That's when the famine of the word really comes into play. Now it's either you're a wise virgin or a foolish one. Matthew's the 25th chapter. <laughs> you know? Verse 27. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. See? Some are going to listen, some aren't. It is what it is. Okay? Hey, but still, at the end of the day, our job is to, you know, continue to preach this word, these prophecies, and to warn the people. Stop, you know, uh, 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 going tick for tack with these uh, individuals. What is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, railing for railing, I think that, that, that that's, uh, um, as the scriptures are uh, uh, worded. You know, stop doing that. All right. Hey, spend your time and energy on something else. Look up some articles. Watch a video. You know, uh, you know some uh, so, some of those uh, economics videos. You know, those geopolitical videos. Watch that so you can prophesy. Okay. But well, that's pretty much it. And with that, 
I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shemuel, Shai, also double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone and salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.